Hello everyone, today we're going to go ahead and do some more division and we're going to review it basically and we're going to work on the standard algorithm. I have a problem here where it's 861 divided by 22. Our dividend is 861, meaning that's the amount that we're trying to split up. And in this case, we're trying to split it up into 22 groups. First thing I want to do is make an estimate so that I can tell at the end whether my answer or my quotient is reasonable or not. So I'm going to just think of this as a divisor of 20. Oops, sorry. A divisor of 20 and a dividend of 800. Um, I could have made it 22 and 880, but I'm going with 20 and 800. And that would mean an answer of about 40. If I would have gone with 22 and 880, I would still have ended up with a estimate of a quotient of 40. So either way, my answer is going to be around there. I'm going to think of this as having $861 split among 22 people. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to look over at my 22 and I'm going to see how many times it will work with the number that's inside. And I'm going to go digit by digit. So I ask, how many times does 22 work with 8? Or how many times does 22 go into 8? Now I know that 8 really stands for 800, but I'm going to think of it as an 8 for right now. How many times does 22 go into 8? It goes 0 times, so I put the 0 up on top, straight above the 8 and it doesn't work so I ignore that and I move over and now I ask how many times does 22 work with 86? Well I know that 22 times 2 is 44 and 22 times 3 is 66 and 22 times 4 is 88. 88 is too much. I have to stay below 86 so I'm gonna have to go with that 66. 22 times 3 make 66. So I put my 3 directly above the 86 so it's in the proper place value. It's in the tens place now. And then 3 times 22 makes 66. And I subtract that off. 6 take away 6 is 0 and 8 take away 6 is 2. So I know that if I had 86 things, I put my hand in the little bucket three times I I could pull out 22 items three different times and that would give me a total of 66 but I have 20 left over now what I have to do is I go look back up at this ones place and I have to take care of this one so I'm gonna bring that down I use arrows so I can keep track of my place value and now I have 201 and I'm gonna think of that as 201 now it's easy to work with so I have to ask how many times does 22 go into 201. Well, um, I know that 22 times 10 is 220, but I only have 201. So that would mean um, probably nine times. So I'm going to put my nine right here. And then off to the side, I'm going to work out what 22 times nine is. If I don't know how to do that in my head, I'm just going to pretend like I don't. And that is 22, I mean, two times nine is 18 my 1, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 more is 19. 198. So if I had 201, 201 things and I had to split them between 22 people, each person would get 9 for a total of 198. And then I'm going to subtract off uh, to see what my remainder is going to be. Now, I'm not, I don't even need to regroup because I can look at this and in my head, I know that the difference between 201 and 198 is 3. So we really don't have to worry about um, regrouping there. So sometimes you just have to look at it and realize what you're doing. And you'll see that you can just um, do it mentally. Okay, so that would be 3. So 201 minus 198 is 3. So my final answer then is if I had $861, divided by 22 people, each person would get $39, and there would be a remainder of $3 left, okay? So my final answer then is 39, remainder 3, and I can check my work to see if it's um, correct. I can tell right now it's reasonable because my prediction, 
or my estimate was 40, and I got the answer 39, remainder 3. So to see if it um, is exactly correct, I'm going to do my 39 times 22, and that's 18, 7, and then I have the same thing again. And I get 858, but it says 861. So what's the difference there? Well, the difference is 3, and that's where I add in that remainder, the number that we didn't give out, and that gives me 8, uh, 861. So that is perfect, and that's all there is to it. Thank you.